Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I have been wanting to do this video for so long, but I've actually had quite a few requests for me to share my Love Shack Fancy collection. And I wanna go ahead and sit down and share with you the things I've actually purchased for my closet and that have really been just like building block for my wardrobe. I am not only sharing with you my collection, but also my husband surprised me and took me to the new Love Shack Fancy store that is located in Charleston, South Carolina. It was my very first time walking into a Love Shack Fancy store. I have wanted to do it for so long. I finally got the chance to do it. I tried on some beautiful dresses and just try to capture the whole time that we spent in the Love Shack Fancy store on camera so that I could share it with you and just have memories and we can just get all girly about it. And yeah, I think one of the reasons why I love Love Shack Fancy so much is that I get so inspired to create how they pair certain things, how they get that ethereal romantic element in their outfits is so inspiring. I feel like I just fell in love all over again with the romantic style and it's going to inspire my content for 2022. So I will go ahead and share with you my collection first. I have quite a few pieces to share with you and then I'm gonna go ahead and end the video with my footage from my visit to the Love Jack Fancy store so you can kind of come along with me and see me try on dresses and just see the store in person. So before I jump into sharing with you all this girliness, if this is your first time here to my channel, I do have a new video up for you every Saturday. So click that subscription button if you wanna see more from me and also that notification bell as well because that will let you know what time on Saturday my video is gonna be up. So I'm gonna break my collection down and just share everything by category. So I'll start with my skirts, then I'll go into blouses, sweaters, and then I will end with dresses because the dresses from Love Jack Fancy I think are just the most amazing pieces you will ever find. I thrifted this skirt. This is in a maxi style. It has the most beautiful ruffled styling in the front, but then you also have this gorgeous stitching throughout the whole piece. The ruffles I think are what sold me on it and this very soft pastel blue. The only thing with this skirt is that I think I have been wearing this wrong. It has this tie in the front with the elastic. So I assumed that this was the front with the ruffles, but it's actually longer this way. It's kind of like a high-low style. And then in the back, it actually has like a, there's no elastic right here. So it looks like it's supposed to be in the front. I've been wearing it where I have this part in the front. I'm gonna show you the tie styled in the front and then just the plain in the front. And just let me know which way you think is the best way to wear it because I'm not sure. <laughs> I think, I really do think I've been wearing this wrong and it's kind of embarrassing. This skirt is in a ruffled style, so it has the most beautiful eyelets and embroidery. Just love check fancy pieces are so detailed. And this one I have worn quite a few times. I wore it a lot in the spring. And this is a piece that I know is gonna last a while in my closet. I have one more skirt to share with you. This ended up being something that I absolutely fell in love with. I didn't think I was gonna love it as much as I did. There is a simplistic elegance about this skirt that just makes you stand out. This skirt is also on sale on the Love Shack Fancy website and it is 
in my opinion, such a beautiful purchase. This one actually does run a bit large. I got it in a size large and I feel like it would fit anyone from a 10 to 12. I think if you are an eight, you might want to size down to a medium. I would recommend wearing nude colored undergarments with this one because I mean, it is white. So if you wear anything colored underneath it, you might get a little bit of that peeking through the skirt. I have one jumpsuit to share with you. So I thrifted this off of Poshmark. The person who owned this before wanted to get rid of it because it had this ripping going on right here, which I actually haven't taken the time to fix it because my hair covered it. But now that my hair is short, I probably need to fix that. I got it in an extra large and I just want like that oversized look. And the pattern on this is just everything girly. I personally think that you can wear this fall and winter. It's in like a corduroy material, but it's very soft. I've seen quite a few of these in several different sizes and in colors on Poshmark. So I will link a few if I can find them for you, but I love this one. It has like the little tie knot. You can adjust the length on it, which is perfect. Highly recommend this if you can get your hands on one of these because they are so comfortable. So I'm gonna jump into the blouses that I have from Love Shack Fancy now. And the very first one I have to start off with is one of the building blocks of my wardrobe. This one has that ruffled high neck. You can button it up all the way. It looks very Victorian. And then you have the ruffles along the shoulder, that beautiful oversized puff sleeve, which I love. And it also has that Swiss dot pattern. This one piece alone from Love Shack Fancy has completely transformed my wardrobe. Like it just reflects my style so well. Some of you might remember this purchase. I got this from a trunk club and I think this is when I was just beginning to discover Love Shack Fancy as a brand. So I've had this in my closet for a good while. My only regret with buying this blouse is I wish I would have sized down. I purchased this in a size large and it would I would have done better with a medium. I think the reason why I purchased the large is that it sold out. I just really wanted this pattern in my closet and I didn't mind if it was a little bit oversized. This blouse I got at such a good price off of Poshmark, and this has been my go-to holiday look statement piece. I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I've been showing it quite a lot recently on my channel, but it does have like that on the shoulder, off the shoulder style, it's got like elastic. Um, this is from their older collections, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find this exact blouse, but I am going to link a blouse from Cezanne that is very similar to it. Literally gets the same look and it's been my go-to holiday piece. I'm gonna move into sweaters and I actually have one, two, three, four. I have five sweaters to share with you. This cape I purchased off of ThreadUp. This cape has a really pretty stitched floral pattern on there and looks very homemade, which I love. And you have this tie in the front that you can get a really cute bow in the front, which I always do. And this once again is from one of the older collections from Love Jack Fancy. For some reason, I really gravitate towards the older collections. I have seen this Brighton cloak available on Poshmark in a pink color and also this color as well. So I'm gonna link those if I can find them. I usually am pretty good about hunting these down. This sweater, this is just like my fairy unicorn cardigan. In the early fall, this can definitely act as outerwear because it's a very thick sweater. Right now, I probably would even have to layer a coat on top of this, but the fabric is really thick, really good quality, of course, and it's very soft. It's luxury. This next sweater is a cashmere sweater. I purchased this last year, I believe. I purchased this from The Real Real. It has the cutest little bows on the shoulder, and I loved this one because it's in a nice neutral color. I can wear this with anything. These pop up all the time on The Real Real, and you can get them for 
a really decent price for the quality of it. So this, in my opinion, is a really good investment. This next sweater I purchased either off of Revolve or Saks Fifth Avenue. I can't remember. I think I tried on the blue one, but then I ended up really loving the look of the pink one. It sits on me as more of a cropped style and I did get this in a size large. But look at the ruffles, just such a pretty piece. Captures all that girliness in a grown up way, which I really appreciate. I mean, why not have fun with it? I say have fun with it. This last sweater I purchased off of Poshmark. I discovered this sweater by first renting it off of Newly. I ended up falling in love with it, but the discount was not very good on Newly. So I ended up going in searching for it on Poshmark and I ended up finding it for a very good deal. The stitch work on this is just beautiful. I love how you have like these big stitches on there. It just gives you that country feel, but it's very girly. And I know it just stands out, which I love. Now we are to the dresses, which are probably some of my favorite things that I see on Love Jack Fancy. But the very first dress that I ever purchased from Love Jack Fancy, I actually discovered off of Newly, and I did purchase it off of Newly. It is in this really pretty, nice, oversized style. It's got the beautiful balloon sleeve, smocked style. This is something that you can layer up in the winter and fall, but I love wearing this in the spring. And this is one of the Love Jack Fancy dresses that is very very easy to wear, which I love about it. This dress was given to me by a friend that I actually met here on YouTube. It has the most beautiful neckline, which is just my favorite style in dresses. I love that skin showing, but tasteful. And then you can do off the shoulder if you want like this sexy date night look. Look at the ruffles in the back, just absolutely stunning. And it's in this really pretty soft pink purple color. And this is a very comfortable dress to wear. I have two mini dresses from Love Jack Fancy that are instant classics in my wardrobe and they're the only ones that I found so far that I can get away with. I don't have any mini skirts from Love Jack Fancy which I think is like the popular thing to get from them but I just cannot pull them off. This is a mini dress that I ended up purchasing I think this past summer and I wore this to my friend's baby shower and I I just felt like a little princess in this. It has like little stitched polka dots on it, embroidery around the neckline and it's just such a cute fun dress that is very unique. Not something I've been wearing recently but I have worn this quite a few times in the summer and spring and I really am so happy that I have this in my collection. Merry Christmas! This dress was very kindly once again given to me by a friend, the very same friend who gave me that maxi dress style. I'm so, I feel so spoiled. She wanted this to go to a good home and I told her I would absolutely love it and it would be a shining piece in my Love Shack Fancy collection. I mean, I have no words for how beautiful this is. This is just the perfect dress to have in Cape May for the summer. It has elastic on the shoulder, so you can always do an off the shoulder look if I feel like it. But it has just like the beautiful sleeves, very much a summer piece. This dress I ended up purchasing off of TJ Maxx, which I never knew. They had a designer tab on their website and one of you told me about it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go look on there. And then I ended up finding a dress in my size that I absolutely loved. And I actually purchased this for Easter Sunday and I wore it on Easter. 
I love how much fabric is on this dress. It is very girly, a bit dramatic, but I do appreciate it. And you have like elastic on the neckline once again. It's a beautiful neckline. I really do think that Love Shack Fancy has done the best necklines on blouses and dresses. I just think they're so flattering, very tasteful, but a bit sexy and dramatic at the same time. last dress in my Love Shack Fancy collection is actually the dress that I'm wearing right now. I got this during the Black Friday sale and I had my eye on this for a long time but I waited for that sale and I got it at such a good price and I love this. It's like a, a long sleeved knit dress like a, a thinner material but it's very soft and cozy and warm very easy to layer up. So I love investing in pieces that I can wear year round and this is definitely going to be one of those but now that I have shared with you my entire Love Shack Fancy collection as of this year. I want to go ahead and share with you the footage from visiting the Love Jack Fancy store in Charleston. <laughs>
So this is actually a size six, which normally I'm like a size 10, but there's a lot of room in this. I really love this skirt. And then I paired it with this sweatshirt, which actually I might end up getting this because I love this. I like the roses and then you have this rose right here. It's so cute. So this one is a size medium. I think I would definitely do better with the large pink, but I really love this bow on there. I feel like this dress was made for me. This is just stunning. Oh my goodness. So I got this in a size eight and it fits perfectly. Like there's so much room in there, especially in the hip area. And oh my goodness, look at the sleeves. Oh, back. Just stunning. Oh my goodness. Look at the bow. It's so cute. And this is like a Christmassy dress, which I love the colors on this one. And this is in an eight once again. enjoyed coming along with me to Charleston, South Carolina and seeing the new store from Love Jack Fancy. I just have no words on how I felt during that day. It was just such a wonderful memory and I'm so glad that I have this video to look back on and just enjoy that memory. I am wishing you a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful time with your family, whatever it is you do this time of year and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.